Warning, there are endgame spoilers ahead, but you must have seen it already, right? <laughs> no? Oh man, you mean you haven't seen when the uh, all win thingy... Uh, anyway, anyway, come back when you have. With the epic Avengers Endgame now over, and the final battle with Thanos in the history books, I found myself wondering, like a lot of fans, who the next big villain could maybe be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The expectations is that Phase 4 will slowly introduce the next big baddie for our heroes. So here are a few I've picked out that could take up the role. Galactus With Fantastic Four soon-ish to be making their way into the world of the MCU, it would make sense to bring in one of the most powerful beings from Marvel that was introduced in their series. The World Eater possesses unlimited cosmic power and deserves the proper live-action treatment as one of the most iconic comic book villains ever, with some spectacular action sequences available. This would also obviously lend itself to introducing the Silver Surfer, who I think could have his whole own origin movie leading up to becoming the herald of the godlike figure. Apocalypse now this one might have to wait a bit longer so they can start afresh with the famous X-Men adversary. We'd also need the team of mutants to establish themselves in their new home before he's brought in. But once he's ready, he could be an awesome new foe for the world of heroes. He could enlist a whole new four horsemen by his side to make things interesting. A powerful group mentally conditioned to serve the ancient mutant, which in the past has included the likes of the Hulk, the Sentry, Gambit, Angel, Psylocke and Wolverine. Of course there are tons of options available and Apocalypse has even resurrected superheroes, so imagine the possible clashes that could happen. There's no doubt done right he could be a tremendous character in the MCU. Norman Osborn Yes that's right, the Green Goblin, but more recent years he's become quite a problem for the Avengers forming his very own dark version of the team, leading him as the Iron Patriot, a cross between the two most famous members, Iron Man and Captain America. He could easily start to be teased or mentioned here and there in Spidey's films before emerging as his next antagonist, then start to build up to an eventual place of power where he begins popping up in post credit scenes like a certain Nick Fury and enlisting particular villains help in joining the Dark Avengers all leading to a big confrontation when Osborn challenges the Avengers as a world's greatest team, maybe even sending them into hiding and having to get the help of heroes such as the Defenders and Fantastic Four in a sequel. Scarlet Witch This may seem an odd pick as the character has been a member of the Avengers for most of her run, but stick with me, we've witnessed glimpses of Wanda Maximoff's powers in the MCU but her ability to warp reality itself makes her one of the most powerful characters in Marvel. One of the best examples of this was in the 2004 Avengers Disassembled comic book storyline, where a Wanda who had been driven insane by the death of her children went on a rampage and ended up driving the Avengers apart, even brutally murdering a few members. It's a terrific tale that's worth checking out if you never have. Employing a major storyline similar to this could also lead to a House of M sequel where the still insane Scarlet Witch has altered the fabric of reality and created her own world in her own vision, with the heroes having to battle this new existence. Kang the Conqueror After the events of Endgame, the time-travelling Nathaniel Richards, ancestor to the Fantastic Four's Reed Richards, seems like an ideal choice as the next nemesis after the team's time hopping. Much like Galactus, he could also be introduced by the Fantastic Four in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The character has a pretty complicated history, as various people have taken on the mantle. Some good, and some the planet-conquering kind, hence the catchy name. This included Iron Lad, a member of the Young Avengers and younger version of Kang, who realised that he must fulfil his destiny as Kang otherwise causing a timeline rift, which could be a cool storyline and twist for fans unaware of his history. 
An evil version makes more sense as a calculated adversary that tries to take out the team via his intellect and time travelling capabilities, rather than brute force. He could even have been revealed to have been lurking in the shadows, keeping a close eye on the goings on since the start. So there are some picks I'd like to see as the next opposition for the Avengers in Phase 4 and beyond. If you have any other picks just let me know in the comments below. Whatever they go with, I'm sure the future of the MCU is just as bright and exciting with plenty more characters making their way in over the next few years. If you've enjoyed my list, then please like and subscribe for more videos. Cheers for watching!